Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to talk about the top four sweep to mistake that my students have and share with you with the solution. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's get into our topic right away. So the most common mistake number one for the sweep to rail command is the surface that you created, you thought it is should be touching each other, but you are not able to join those two. When you hit join and then you hit enter, it's just still two piece. Most of the time, if you have things happen like that, you need to inspect it, what was going on on your curve and make sure all the curve is uh, touching each other and the main problem is probably right here because the cross section doesn't touch the um, the edge at the end point here and the easy fix is to uh, moving this point by using the move command and we want to move from this point to this point and that should solve the problem another way is to solving this problem is when you are doing the sweep to that say you accidentally not touching that right here so you are using the sweep to command and then you have the rail one rail two you got cross section and then you're creating that first surface that's fine now when you are using the sweep to command and you try to pick up here it will give you an option like which one you want to choose if you are choosing on um, the second rail right here or you want to pick up the edge of this piece right here if you pick up the rail right here on this curve of course it's going to creating the problem there's a gap right here but if you are picking up this edge of the surface you just created and then you pick up this one that shouldn't be the problem, but the problem is this curve is again, not having it close to there, right? So to fix this, either you are moving this curve close to this point or moving this cross section connected to each other to avoid a gap there. All right, so that's the most common uh, issue that I heard from my student when they're using sweep to rail and then they created the naked edges because they cannot join all of them together. When you have that, check on your curve first. Okay, uh, the number two, the most uh, common issue is whenever that you have the surface like that, let me turn this into the black color, you will see the cross section better. That you have this uh, like a squirrel type of uh, design right here. And when you're looking at the top, it feel like this is like, um, um, crossing over on the top is kind of folding there and then you can see the surface is twisting now this is the very surface that is the problem whenever the rhino tell you it is a very surface not necessarily saying this will work when you turn it into the solid or when you try to bowling unit with other pieces to avoid this kind of a twisting uh, we can do it in this way First, if you take a look on your curve right there, you're going to know that this is going to, whenever it curves back, it's going to creating the problem. So this one, that's using the rebuild first, and then it's showing that it's a 13 point and degree three right there. And then we can do the same thing. It is showing it's 23 point and the three degree. Right. The best way is having both of the curve with the same point and that will make it really uniform. In this case, this line is much longer than the interior line. So it's hard to make them the same point unless both of them is going to get a lot more point. All right. So that way it doesn't work. The solution number two is when we are using the sweep to rail again that you wanted to create this one as a rail one this is a rail two this is a cross section and of course they are touching all the point right there and then you hit enter now you get this like twisting looking things i'm going to enlarge the top view as you can see it's twisting right there on the option of your sweep to rail that you're going to say see this is a add slash right here so we want to add slash from here to here and you can see really quickly it will adjust the cross section and we're gonna do something like this one something especially here is kind of twisting i want to add slash right here and then uh, add another slash right there Okay, then you can compare that the surface that we have now is a lot more uniform. There's no longer twist. 
All right, do that little thing. It's going to help your model look better uh, whenever that you're going to continue or have a last problem. All right, the most common issue mistake on the sweeping to rail and uh, sweep to rail command number three is sometimes you cannot maintain the high. I'm going to show you what I mean here. I'm going to delete this one. And then let's take a look on this one. I got two rail right here. You got rail one, you got rail two, and then you got cross section right here. If I'm going to use a sweep to rails and then you pick up rail one, rail two, and then you hit this cross section and hit enter. And right here that you have this super puffy, right? And that's because it's based on our initially uh, cross section. And when it's getting bigger distance between the rail, and of course this cross section will be enlarged. Right here on our option right here, you have ones called maintain high. When you click on the maintain high, supposedly it should be the same high with our cross section, but doesn't matter you crawl, you click on it or not, it doesn't move at all. All right, and let's click OK. And then I do not want it to have that high. And then I'm kind of another solution for it is using a 1D scale to scale it down. But it, at the same time, changing my beginning uh, cross section. If that worked for you, that would be fine. OK, the solution for it and the reason for it is because your curve, uh, your rail right here, it's coming into the point. Right, it doesn't have another opening there, and that's why it, you cannot maintain the high. So that's thinking about what other solution that we can do here. What about if I just adding one more section right there, and I want to control it, uh, this to the end of the point, and let's take a look on how it work. We're gonna use the sweep to rail one more time. We got rail one, we got rail two, we got from here, and then we click it here. And coming into the top, you got this point right here. And then we want to click and make sure you're snapping into the end point, right? Make sure that they are aligned facing up the same direction for my arrow. And then you hit enter, right? You want to click on the maintain high. It still is nothing happened, but at least I get it coming into the point, right? You click OK. But this is not the shape that you want. Look like the section from the middle part to the end seems working, but at the top that you have this big lump there, that's not what you want. All right, so how do we solve this one more time? I'm going to delete right here and to, to show you the option, right? What if we are making two sections? That's starting with the sweep to rail again, rail one, rail two. And you got this cross section right here, and you got this cross section right here. We don't go all the way to the end. Let's hit enter. Then you got something like this, right? And this is click OK. And let's do one more time. I want the starting from here to here. And then I want to click on this curve for uh, surface edge. They are at the same one at this point. And I wish want to hit enter, click OK. All right, so now we have this one. They are two pieces. We just need to join them together and we can maintain the high for whatever that we are working on, right? So all of this top three is all because they are coming into the point that creates certain of the issue that you cannot maintain the high uh, on the sweep two option, all right? So what if I'm open this? For example, in this case, I'm going to have this section it's cutting out by a line so instead of uh, coming into the point i have another cross section right here so this is actually not coming into the point and what's going to happen if we use the sweep to rail you got rail one rail two you got this cross section here you got this cross section here then you have a choice to maintain the high or not Right. So see if you don't maintain the high, it become really puffy like the first one. But because the first and the end, they are open, that it doesn't coming into the point. So you can maintain the high and something like that. And then you want to click OK. All right. Then you will say, PJ, then what am I going to do with this? Now you have this one and this one. And they are two small sections. We can continue to use the sweep to the same idea that we want to use the sweep to rail one, rail two, cross section. We're just moving that middle section all the way to the end and we want to hit enter and then we'll get this, this cap right here. I'm simply just going to um, turn it into the red color so it's easier for you to see.
All right. So the most common mistake on the number three is that the rail coming into the point, then you cannot adjust the height. The very last one, and this again really common issue, is every time that I'm sweeping, I seems to have to uh, become a poly surface instead of a single surface. And why is that important? Is because the single surface you can turn on the control point, the poly surface you cannot. So let's take a look on this. I'm going to use the sweep to rail. You got rail one, you got rail two, and then they're coming into the point, and I have this cross section, I hit enter. And then again, maintain the high is not working, but that's not the point for this demo right here. I'm just gonna click okay. Now I'm taking a look at this and looking at my right side of my property right here, it show it's an open poly surface. All right, and why is this as a poly surface? It, I did not do anything wrong on this curve. And let me show you why. It's because on my top view, this curve, if I try to do explode it, this curve is actually can explode into two curves. And that's how you create this. I also have a lot of people say, I'm trying to create UV curve. So I'm going to create UV curve right here, come in, and I'm going to pick up the whole thing, but it only allow me to pick up only one side. And that's where that the section for it. How can I do the whole thing? And that is the key is because they are constructed by two curves. So when I'm creating this, I draw this curve first and then I draw this too and I try to join them together. Even though they are joined into one piece, they are still two curve. Right. So to fix this one, all you need to do is rebuild your curve. Whenever you are rebuild it, it will have some deviation there. All right. And this is because it's turning into a degree three and then from degree two, and then you will have this deviation there. You can increasing the count. For example, I'm going to do 12. You can see the deviation is getting smaller. So you can increasing as many as you want. Uh, if you want to get it really, really close. Okay, so I'm going to rebuild that for 20. Again, like what we were talking about earlier, I would prefer both of them is the same point and let's do 20. Now let's do it one more time. We want to use the sweep to rail. You got rail one, we got rail two, and we got this cross section right here and we hit enter. Now, if you click on this, you don't see the hard line in between. And that's because it is a single surface. You can see on my right side of my property, it will show the single surface. Again, if I'm going to create UV curve on this one, it will allow me to pick up the whole thing and then I can creating this as a whole area to do my design and flow it back to here. All right, so those are the top four most common mistakes of using a sweep to rail command. I hope it help you on your Rhino 3D model. Let me know what you think and if you like it. La more trick and tip is on my membership program. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching and see you next.